He said he thinks he could score 20 goals yeah. in the city, huh? Who said that? He said Ibra it. said that. that. Oh, that's a lot of goals. So what's wrong with that? I think you guys are shaking on your boots. <laughs> Especially you guys. And you guys with the derby is coming out. I don't know. Out. You oh guys... my God, I would love to see the derby with Ibrahim and we're scoring two times. I'll be funny. <laughs> and you know what's missing in this sign? So you think he could score 20 what's goals? 20, I'm not sure. But maybe but that's what he said. That's what I'm saying. Come on. No, no way. No way. way. The season no is way. almost, uh, you know, 15 maybe. 15. What, what were you Actually, saying? with Cassano, if, if he scores if seven, Cassano he was in the yeah. team. If, listen to me. If Cassano was in the they team, got two guys I would put running. even 25 goals for him. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Serie Audio Experience with IFTV. Guys, we got growing up Italian, Rocco and Sabino. What's going on, guys? How you guys right doing? Boys, right before the year ends. And we got Antonio over here. Anto, welcome. Hi. You happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. You look like you're yeah, in a good mood. Yeah, I just watched one of my friend's videos. It makes me crack up. <laughs> who's, who's your friend? <laughs> it's uh, Mike's cousin. <laughs> Mike's cousin. I call him Costa. Big I'm not yeah. sure if he's 100% his cousin, but I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> one of the nicest guys. People, we, we posted that video of you Mike, reenacting what he me. did. Too high for yeah, you? Yeah, lower friend. Okay, keep going. By the way, Rocco, thank you for, for reminding us. This is our 100th episode of uh, of our podcast. That's okay. legendary. Damn. Milestone. That's a milestone, man. You guys should be very proud. You thank guys you. do an amazing job. That's why we had episodes? Yeah, 100 wow. episodes. Wow. It's actually an honor to sit with this guy for the first time. Is it the first time? For me, yeah. He wasn't here the last time you guys came? An on? honor? Come on, no? you guys are He's over, usually fishing. Or, yeah. <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. I don't like his uh, vest too much. But <laughs> he's the Khan over here. He's an Inter fan. But you know what? <laughs> guys, he makes one of these. Freaking sandwiches. I just had half of it because otherwise I'll die if I eat the whole thing here. Yeah, it's a lot. Excellent so sandwich. Oh, thank it you. It was no. like a six footer. I had, <laughs> I had three foot. Look at me. All right. We had to give you an extra large. Thank shirt. you. Thank you, Ando. The only problem I'm going to try to convert him to become an AC Milan fan. You look good with this one here. I don't know, man. Maybe now with Ibra, excellent. you know? Oh, yeah. Maybe now with Ibra Vimovic. I might right, switch right, over. No, Ibra is coming over, so we yeah. got some good news. So, I know so, that you guys hate the idea anyway, so no, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't hate the idea. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about on the way here. Yeah, what'd um, you say? What'd you say? We don't think it's a, a soccer move. We think it's more... Like a what, PR yeah. or something yeah, PR, like that. Because like, Ibra is a great... You know, character. He brings an eyes too to the you know? league. Listen, like, listen. Let definitely just, a character. Let's, let's say Antonio's go take. Ahead. No, go ahead. No, 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 all right, go. yeah, I'll go before you. And I don't want to get on your bad side because yeah. this is the first time meeting. <laughs> but you already, right. you already got his bad side. Once you walked <laughs> yeah. in, with the, your once I walked in, yeah. But my, I don't have an issue with it at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great for Serie. It's great for Ibra. There's he's been, he's been hinting <laughs> at this comeback for a while. We know that you guys been posting about that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no. Does this really help? Milan at all? I'll tell you what the answer for that. I have it right here at the tip of my tongue. Okay. Tell us. First of all, okay, we got nothing to lose, okay, for getting Ibrahimovic. I mean, how worse can he get? Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. We got five right. goals. You guys are going to Serie A B. I mean, second, <laughs> second, <laughs> second, if I were in your position losing two times against Lazio, getting six goals, not five, six you know, oh, you yeah. make me make a mistake once, but twice the same kind of mistake. Mm. And for you, for <laughs> my big <laughs> friend, the table. Well, the table. The <laughs> <laughs> for you, you lost against a stupid team and you didn't go into the, the Champions yeah, League next round. We, but listen, my issue wasn't with the Barcelona game, but yeah. the games before. We choked against Borussia. We were up. Yeah. We were up and lost that but game. But you choked yeah. against the baby Barcelona, the, the BB. But still, the two B, games B, before B, B too. Team, baby Barcelona is triple B. Yeah. We have triple A, which is us, and you guys are triple <laughs> B. Okay. So listen, uh, we 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 messed up two game, two other games too. Yeah. The, the game against uh, Slavia Prague. Yeah, that yeah. game we should have yeah. won. And, and who's Borussia. to be blamed for that? Conte. Uh, Thank you. I mean, but you, you we, don't, we don't have a bench, How though. How much are you paying we don't Conte, have a bench, by the way, though. Sabino? How much are you paying Conte? But look how, how much? much. But look how much good he's done. $11 though. million. Dollars. You know how many freaking sandwiches? Even you, one of your, <laughs> one yes, of your so sandwich is much better than Conte. <laughs> I don't okay? know about that. <laughs> so, Listen, I'm still so happy oh, with Oh, by the way, what was the name of my sandwich? It was unbelievable. The Godfather. The Godfather. Ooh. I love the FDNY. Oh, my God. 
And, and thank you guys for plugging me in. Yeah. Appreciate it. Panini shop. Where, where is it located? Hey, I'll tell you. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the shop is on 433 Graham Avenue Graham. Oh, thank in you, Brooklyn, though. okay? Yeah. So it's don't miss it out. From now on, I'm going to put it on into my favorite spot every time that I'm going <laughs> by. Good. I know it's going to charge me double because I'm an AC Milan fan. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a discount. I'll give you a discount. I would rather to pay double and have a great sandwich than spending a lot of money and eat like shh. Shit. <laughs> okay. People. Yo, I was cracking over. up though because when he was writing the notes, yeah. he looked like Saudi a little bit. Oh, oh. with the suit, with the suit, yeah, with, with the suit, suit. suit. and he had the yeah. glasses. And he, all you missed was a cigarette butt. Oh, That's shit. all you missed. Anything you can compare me, Saudi, I can't stand that guy. <laughs> Yo, that I'm guy's a phone. He's now. a maestro. A maestro, what? <laughs> Anto, I saw yesterday you sent us a video. You went to go play in the morning. Uh-huh. Man, you did not leave the Inter fans alone. Not even for Christmas did you hey, give them a break. Everybody, you were b- busting their chops. They were so mad. They were, no, they yeah, were not that mad. They were mad. Uh, the Inter fans online when we posted it, they were mad. Oh really? Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> this transfer window is really important for it Inter. Is. Oh, it we is gotta, for sure. we gotta get some help in the midfield. What do you think you're getting? Vidal, I think, for sure. I hope Vidal? so. Vidal? Yeah. I don't I think so. so. You don't think so? Yeah, I don't think They're think. saying it could be Vidal. Five million. They were saying. Like yeah, it's nothing. I think you're eight million difference. Five million just to to sign him. Well, for the half no, season. No, just to get him for, for the six season. months. Wow. Yeah, yeah, for the half season. So how much months. is he getting in it's Barcelona right now? The thing is, he's not playing at Barca. Is the issue? He, he wants to go. Yeah. Yeah, he he said he's not happy. Mm. Yeah, you were reportedly interested. We need in that, that too, help off the bench. Who that, took the place of Vidal that is not really happy? He's not getting much time. Well, they got De Jong. I don't well, even right. know. The Jong. They got De I don't know who else is Barcelona's midfield. You know um, what it is? Dembele you know is like off the bench. No, he's, yeah, he's a right He's yeah. up top. Yeah. top. So they got plenty on that Yeah, position. I think they have a lot of players. Messi, yeah, Nakatish. they're not even looking. Okay. Yeah, mm. the, I think that De Jong was a big signing. But let's talk about Ibra. So um, for those that don't know, it happened this morning. Sky Sport Italia are saying that it's as close to a done deal as you could get. And by tomorrow, so by the time this episode is out, it's supposed to be official that Ibra is joining AC Milan. It went a lot of back and forth with this one. You know, he's linked with Napoli. He was linked with Bologna. He was linked with a lot of different teams. And they had said that he was not going to join Milan because of the price difference. But it seems like Ibra himself took a step back. He didn't want to retire. He didn't want to go to China. He didn't want to do all these stuff. And he said what was important to him was feeling important. And he says he could still give a lot to a Serie A team. And it seems like he's joining AC Milan. Um... (laughs) I, I see the sentiment from the Milan fans and maybe a little bit like what, what Rocco was saying. Um, but I think, Anton, you, you already stole my words of it can't get much worse than what it is. Mm-hmm. And I think that the risk and reward factor in this one, it's like at least you have somebody who will understand the importance of wearing an AC Milan jersey, which I think is really lacking at Milan. So he still has a lot to give. The guy is going to be freaking banging in goals until you know you put the guy in a grave. He's not going to stop. I saw so you I would, posted... I, I, I say... I say you don't have much to lose. It's not that expensive. For Milan's perspective, it can't get much worse. He's probably going to help them out in a lot of games that could be tipped one way or another. Mm -hmm. And just the importance in a locker room is more so what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I was just going to get into that. What what exactly do you think his role is going to be moving forward? I think he's going to be right there in the center of the box, not too much coming back, back and forth, back and forth, because you need somebody to be, be, uh, you know, uh, clearly on the top of his game. And number two, they don't want to sacrifice his stamina because this guy, you give him two balls or three balls, one is going to go right. in. Yeah. Meanwhile, we give him to this uh, Piontek uh, 15 balls. Of, <laughs> come on, man. But we, you think he's going to be but a he's real off the bench, that. though. He's going to yeah, come off the bench. Uh, right. Right. Six, six, I don't think so. I, I, he's going to run 90 I, minutes? In the yeah, beginning, so. no, probably. In the very beginning, maybe half a game. He hasn't played since October, He's going to come in as a sub, especially in the beginning. He's going to need some time. I think he's going to need some time. He hasn't played since October. He's 38. If you limit his movement on the field, if you limit his movement, say... I said, I don't expect to sacrifice you for the team in the very beginning until you get yourself into the, you know, the game game shape. But uh, I think the guy is going to be right into the box every time AC Milan goes forward. I don't think he's going to be ready right away. I agree. I, saw, I saw a quote that you put that, that he said he thinks he could score 20 goals yeah. in the city, huh? Who said that? He said Ibra that. said that. that. Okay. That's a lot of goals. So what's wrong with that? I think you guys are shaking on your boots. Especially you guys. And you guys are the derbies coming I don't know. Out. You oh guys... my God, I would love to see the derby with Ibrahim and we're scoring two times. I'll be funny. They... And you know what's missing in this sign? So you think he could score 20 what's goals? Missing? 20, I'm not sure. But maybe but that's what he said. That's what I'm saying. Come on. No way. No way. No the season no is way. almost, uh, you know, 15 maybe. 15. What, what were you Actually, saying? with Cassano, if, if he scores if seven, Cassano he was in the yeah. team, if, listen to me, if Cassano was in the they team, got two guys I would put even 25 goals for him. 
Listen, what were you going to say? Wait, why not 40? You're about to say something. That was what I was no, about to say. No, that's not what you're going to say. You're going to say something it's gonna else. It's going to come back. something's whatever. coming up. Something is coming yeah, up? Yeah, you were about to say. I don't know. All right, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay, since we're talking about it. you, bro, uh, I had a comment over here. This from Instagram from Matthew. He said, do you think Ibra could take... Uh, could you think uh, Ibra could take Milan back to the Champions League? Let's be realistic here. What do you guys think? Not Man, Champions there's a lot of points separating. Now. How, what's the Not what's Champions the points? League. It's like right 12 now. points yeah, separating. Yeah, it's too many. Like that. that's, that's a lot. That's Champions League. I, I put Milan in Champions League. I hope it is, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Maybe it, last year when they all they needed, you know, was a one point difference. Yeah, he could have made up. That one point when they were near. So no one's out the missing. Not, not even you, Anto. You don't think? Champions I would say. League? I would say uh, for the UEFA, definitely. Europa League. Definitely. But Europa not Champions League. League. Yeah. Milan are in eleventh place with twenty-one points, and Roma are in fourth with thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> so they're fourteen points. Listen, that's, listen. That's, 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 points. that's five games. Not the Champions League. Not for Champions League. Three loss on on either side. <laughs> yeah, but you also have Lazio, Roma, Atalanta, yeah, exactly. Cagliari, Napoli. So and on. Milan's gonna have to win those games too. They right. can't drop points. I don't think. Capable. I don't think Champions League. With capable, very, Mike. I know, it's very tough. Especially I'm not saying if you have, if I want a, Milan. Especially if we face people or teams with Manolas on defense, anybody <laughs> can score. <laughs> That's true. Re- that's true. Realistically, though, when has a comeback like that ever happened in Serie A? I'm sure there's crazy like stories, but that's it. Well, 14 what, points this time of year. That's very Juve tough. Was what, was was Juve, what was Juve off um, on points like a couple years ago for first place? When, it was like when Napoli Napoli was 11 same. or 12 points. Yeah, they were like 11, 11, but 12 also points. that's Juve. Like, and the team was there. I don't think Zlatan, Zlatan's not going to make you go from being in 11th yeah, place to 4th, but he's going to get you important wins like, like Anto said. And I, I think more so... It's, you know, he's going to smack the guy in training if he doesn't understand what it means to play yeah. for Milan. You know, he said, you know, right. Milan is my they second need, home. They need Italy a veteran presence. Home. I agree. That's more so for me. That's what I think about. And the amount of money Milan has spent and wasted on a lot of players over the past, I think that this is actually the one that has the least reward to go bad. I think with a couple selling, if they sell a couple players, Paqueta. that they really... I don't That's what they're, they're saying. They're going to send Parqueta. Leonardo don't want him at PSG. PSG, yeah. Oh. They're saying like that. 8 million plus Draxler. Oh, boy. Well, well, we need a defender so badly. I don't think Musacchio, not even Romagnoli. I, I have no faith on Romagnoli. Romagnoli. He's given up he on Romagnoli. Yeah, yeah, he needs some, need some help. I like Romagnoli. Romagnoli, I, like I think Romagnoli. it's not a franchise a player. Captain. No, no, it doesn't. No? No, look. You know who you're linked look. to? Look. What? Parisi, those are Parisi, Maldini. Uh, this is different. This is different. We're talking about thirty years ago. Generational man. players. You cannot compare some somebody. Nobody's comparing okay, them. Yeah, we're saying they're they're. You good. gotta be he realistic now. It. How did any defenders it's like not that? A leader. Right? Nowadays. When he uh, when he takes the ball, Manolo's when Romagnoli takes the ball, doesn't show leadership on the mm. team. He doesn't take the team. He doesn't He's carry. He's got the such team. bad players around him. You don't want to It starts in the locker room. You gotta go to the the root of this though. I don't feel like they're playing. As a combined unit, no, there's not. always something they're, they're lacking not. every game, and you can pinpoint it. There is leadership what? on the field. If you ever on the field, then on the locker rooms, it's easier. When when you don't have on on your feet what you're supposed to have, then you go down to, down to the locker room and trying to tell uh, uh, my friend over here what to do. They said, "Who the hell are you? Right, you know right. what you're doing over there yeah. on the field? You effing around with your with the ball." So you know who uh, you're Sabino to? Sabino is gonna tell me. I said, "Hey, Antonio, first learn how to play, and then come and tell me." How to play better? What to do? You're, you're linked to Todi Ball, the guy from Barca. I don't know if that's how you that, say his name. That, that I heard he's really good. good he played against him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I, a good first player. Yeah. That's a good oh player. my god, he had he had Lukaku in the back of his pot. I mean, Lukaku I mean, also missed one those one on ones. But I saw this kid. He's young. He's like 22, 21. And that's years old. what we need. He looked really good. We need to take chances. We need to take the chances. Well, one, one thing about Ibra, that I just want to brush up on. Is he could create a circus real quick too because look what look what he did with uh, MLS how he left the league and like he talked bad about it like he didn't win anything in MLS and he wasn't the top goal scorer so like for him to say okay go back to watching baseball yeah. I don't watch the MLS at all but still like. That's well, such an evil. That, well, like, like, come on. that's like, like oh one of his God. stunts that he does. But wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, people talk. They didn't do that poorly either. The no, guy he scored. Didn't, but no, he but did he, fine. He, I think he wrote in his thing like I, I conquered. I conquered. That's yeah. what, he, that's what everybody got conquer, mad at. You didn't conquer anything really. He, said he didn't win. Yeah, he, he didn't said, win the league. Conquered MLS and now go back to watching baseball. He's got a big ego. Which he didn't. He also he had that whole thing with Villa, which I actually agree with him on the Villa part. He said he's like, listen, I'm 38 and I'm playing in MLS. Villa, you're 26. When I was 26, I was playing and he's Fair. Yeah. It's true. But when you say conquered MLS. Again, this is the kind of players that do not need 
a lot of people to tell them what to do because they oh, know what they're not. doing. He's one of the Cassano, Ibrahimovic, Del Piero, uh, I don't know. Uh, he saw all the basket Totti, cases. <laughs> Totti. You don't tell people like that at the play. Oh, this is the 433, this is 4312, this is the 442. Shut <laughs> Up. Play the game. Those are people oh, that man. when I, even that stupid loser of Allegri that said, past the three quarter of the field, you can never really tell those superstars Guardiola, Guardiola. what to right. do. Guardiola. Oh, Guardiola. Okay? So those are the people that they put the ball on their feet. They already know. They smell you know soccer. You know what's guys. really funny? Last night I watched um, the Pele movie. You guys ever see the new yeah, one? Yeah, no. The 2017, 2018? No, I, I thought you were talking about the older one. No, no, the new one. There's a new one. And it was based off a true story, and I assume that this is true. And, um, you know, Pele, uh, Brazil went through, like, a really bad time in the 1950s. Like, they were embarrassed in the World Cup and all this stuff. And then 1958, they got into the final versus Sweden. And Sweden was seen as this tactical machine and the coach of Brazil at the time, he was, you know, he was like, he was studying Sweden. He's like, we're going to have to do a 4-3-3 when we attack. When we de defend, we're doing 4-4-2, all this. He was going crazy telling the Brazilians what they do. And, you know, Brazil, they're, they're known for their magic, for their flair. And before the final, uh, you know, a couple days before, whatever, and uh, he was like, you know what? Forget everything I said about the tactics. You guys know what you're doing. He's like, forget everything about what I said that you have to defend with this. You understand what to do with the ball? Go out and prove your magic. And they actually went out and beat Sweden, I think, 4 or 5 1, with 17 year old Pele scoring a couple goals. Wow. And it was just about that freedom that they the Brazilians believed in. And it, it was, I, I saw that and I was like, wow. Kind of like what you're saying. To go back with you to, back to, to what you were saying. But you have to have good players I think to do that's that. That's what also. the problem of Conte is. Conte might be a, a good coach, not a great coach, could be a good coach, but he's a stiff. The guy is running the team like he's running in the army. You got yeah. the, the master very surgeon structured, telling, very you, structured. telling you, 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 you. Yeah, he's a motivator, though. Yeah. But on, eventually man. you run out of gas. You can't, you, you can't do it with certain the players. Guy, you the can't guy, do it with certain players. If you, if you just, uh, you know, rinse the, the, the shirt from the sweat that he gets, he sweats more than the player on the field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah. 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 The yeah. guy's yeah. running at the full <laughs> hair. But that's the kind of coach he is, Take though. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, but look what he did with Inter and... His first year yeah, in City yeah, like, yeah, but he, he, it's a, it's you get out. You get out from the Champions League. You know, man, how much money is there on the table that you, you missed already? That, yeah, but he also had a lot of injuries. The last true. game, nah, we didn't have no, give me that. Every team is We got were missing injuries. a heart of don't our midfield. No, 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 Brozovic didn't injuries. sit down one game. He played every single Barcelona minute. Barcelona came with the babies to San Siro. <laughs> the babies. With the babies. Yeah, from diapers, those guys. So it's, Barca I smell it's, the Barcelona, diapers. it's Barcelona babies. I smell though. their diapers. They were playing with diapers, those kids. Listen, Come on. we should have won that game. Yeah. But Especially not lose. Still, but what about still, Lukaku? Yeah, no. What no. about Lukaku? Well, let me say the Lukaku quote from, from Wanda Icardi. Yeah, if about... Icardi will be there, it will be bearing at least three of those uh, uh, oh, oh my balls. God. Easy. No, easy. Without those, saying anything. Those chances? We're talking about oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Icardi will be just... Icardi is a killer. He is a killer. He's a killer. So, um, on the show... On the show that Wanda's part of, um, one of there was an Inter fan on there, and he was like, you know, finally Inter have a number nine um, that sacrifices, that does this, that does that, and she got really mad, and she's like, you know, you're disrespecting me, you know, she, she's like, oh, you're saying that because I'm here because of Icardi, and she goes, you know, Lukaku, it would be nice if uh, if we saw him in the big games too. She said in Champions League, he couldn't score. Wow. And now he's watching um, the knockout stages from the TV. Inter's last number nine had 150 goals. Wow. Hey, <laughs> listen to me. A lot of people that have problem with Banda. You know why? Because she's, she's a lady. Die. She's a lady. She's good looking. And she's, uh, she's the agent. <laughs> no, one's a, no one's a good looking. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's, she, she's the agent of her, of her husband. Who more? Who better can represent you? Number one. People don't like her because she cheated on her husband. Because she Maxi talks a Lopez. lot. No, she cheated on yeah. Maxi so with what? a young kid so and left him with the kids. <laughs> yeah. No, come on. That, in soccer, She's, you don't do that. Well, in soccer, you don't do in that. In any professional sport, no, 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 Maybe Maxi anyway. Lopez was a little slow on that department, so she went <laughs> with the faster one. Yeah. Stick a weird turn. Okay. Stick a weird turn. <laughs> Yo, boy. You, you know, Anto does have a point in the sense that, you know, there's a lot of things that she does, but because she's a woman, everybody just starts like picking Mata. up on I think she's a great... I, I don't think a lot she of She understands soccer more than what you think uh, you guys think. She does understand. Well, listen, well, she's an agent. I, I, I hope 100 so. agree with her on this, on the Lukaku part. I do agree because you know yeah. Lukaku. You see that he doesn't have a calmness in front of goal. That that the great number. He's nine a choker. Has. He's a choker. He, does, he gets in front of the goal and the guy. I just, don't think so. I think I think he's, like, he's kind of a little like, too he, harsh on him. No, no, they are. He's, he's kind of like he's kind of like he embodies what Conte is about. We're just like. 
you know, he just shoots the ball right at the goalkeeper instead of thinking, where should I place the ball? Sometimes he tries to overcompensate and work too hard. Right. Yeah, I'm not saying that he hasn't done. I'm just, I'm saying he's done very good for his beginning, but he's not world class. He's a great, he's a great striker. He's not world class. I don't think he's world class. Though. It does not have that extra class. fraction of a second this guy to, was look at, that he to look into the, like, the guy on the show, Cassano, which was why she got Okay, Icardi, those are the players that before they even they shoot, they know, they see everything in slow motion, and then boom, they go the, for it. The one thing I want to say is this is his first year in the league, and yeah. he's scoring goals. It's not exactly. like he the has hardest two goals. Score, Sabino, you know? Sabino. No, no, no. But, this guy yes, played yes. on the English Premier League. Don't give me that first yeah, year on the league. Yeah, you can't compare that to City. Yeah. City so has what? a hardest what does that league. Mean? What you first mean? of all, City first... harder to score. Wait, wait. It's, it's a more defensive Until league. Until a few years ago, everybody said, oh, Serie A, Serie A, Serie A, Serie A. It's a boring. All of a sudden, Serie A is more, impo- it's more important than uh, English Premier League. I say more important. I said harder to score. It's harder to score. So what does that mean? That in English, on the English Premier League, they don't know how to play defense? Not, it's not, not that, it's just it's more open league. Said, yeah. Look at this game right now. It's 4-1 in the, what, 60th minute? You know what I mean? Like, the we get line, games like that now. The bottom line, line but, is if you're a good player, you can show up on any league. I mean, hey, Ibrahimovic. If you're world class. He's not world class. He's a great it's player. Not and he's not He's doing very good for I think you guys got to give him a little more time. And, he, to really and also, judge. Lukaku fits the system that Conte wants is the point. You know, Icardi was not going to do this under Conte. He's not going to work his ass off. Like there's certain players that you can't tell them exactly. And who told what you that? Do. He never played for Conte. But what I'm saying is that Icardi's Conte's, a poacher, though. Conte's a That's very a demanding. Act. You know, Lukaku does a lot of work back. off the ball. Right. Conte doesn't really like a guy like that. For him, it doesn't fit. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm yeah. just saying that, that guy, there's, a, there's a difference in class level between Lukaku it was and you, Marotta. You think, you I mean, think it was than Conte? You think Icardi would have gave the PK to? To Sebastiano Spelzito? No way. You think he would have gave a PK to the young yeah, team? It's 4 0 against Genoa. No, it wasn't 4 0. It was 2 0. It was 2 0 at the time. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Icardi's not a. It's, listen, Icardi, Icardi's not a selfish player. Icardi, if sees somebody open, will just put you the ball right, uh, right on your feet. About? I don't think. I have, There's I nothing bad with being a selfish striker. I don't, striker, think, I don't remember Icardi being selfish for all of those years that he's been on Inter Milan. Okay? Um, Let's 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 just the conversation a little okay. bit. Okay, let's uh, go. We talked a lot about Inter. We talked a lot about uh, Milan and all this stuff. Um, let's talk let's... about those stupid losers of Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> Two I, times been embarrassed by so Lazio, three we, to one. We man. got uh, we got week. Rocco here, who's a big Juventus oh, fan. Oh, so sorry to hear that, Rocco. <laughs> and, uh, nothing, nothing to be sorry. I thought... <laughs> Rocco, I don't know how you've been feeling. We haven't talked really about how you felt yeah. about the season. I've been pretty adamant um, that I don't like. The way that Juve is playing and the attitude, I feel like they're not hungry to win. And I feel like Sadi is playing Ronaldo out of position. I think we also don't have a midfield besides Pjanic. There's no real midfield. Um, what do you think about uh, about the uh, Juventus this year overall? Uh, underwhelming, underperforming, to say the least. It, it's been a year of a little bit of disappointment. But at the same, in retrospect, you have to expect some sort of decline, especially with a new coach. You you anticipate, you know, going back to the Champions League. We had a lot of hype around their team, but I, don't, I just don't think Saudi's getting it done for us. I got to be honest with you, I'm not very fond of him. I wasn't very fond of the signing to begin with. And the team plays with a lack of passion or heart. It's, and it starts within midfield. You don't feel that spark anymore. At least it's honest. You know, I, th- you I think I they're focusing you know, on I don't want to be biased. I agree though. with you 100%. And I hate that we say, all oh, we're focusing on Champions League, like you said, because no. Yes. No, that's, that's, never, at the end of the day, you have to you yeah. have yeah. a team that you could be doing it in Exactly. And with the players we had, there's no reason Dybala should be getting 20, 30 minutes a game. Yep. That doesn't make any sense to me. What do you, you think know? about Ronaldo's positioning? And he's out of position. You know, it's it I, doesn't it think. doesn't suit him. You know, like like you said with that Brazil team and what is it fifty eight? Like you yeah, said, 58. I forget. You have to let these players play it. Sometimes there's no science to it. Sometimes these players with the caliber players that Juventus has, there's no reason they should be struggling. You know, and all credit to Lazio. There's no yeah, reason yeah. you should be losing three one. Two times in what three weeks? And yeah, in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, ten days. There's no fluidity on the game too. You've even last year with Allegri, the right? It's fluid. It was you know a little boring, a little bit more de- on the defensive side. <laughs> oh, very. But they got results. You saw, yeah. you saw the fluidity. The game right. was pop, 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 pop. It's pop, concerning. It's Saudi's, concerning. Saudi's, um Robert Green, who was the backup third goalkeeper for Chelsea last year, um, he. Re- told a story uh, the other day about Sarri, and he said one game, I think it was after they lost, what did they lose, 4-5, 6-0 to Man City yeah. once, Chelsea? 
right? Um, Green said that everybody in the locker room wanted to tell Sarri that what he was saying didn't make sense to anybody. Mm -hmm. And everybody was a little bit scared. And Green said, listen, I knew I was never going to play under him. I was a third choice goalkeeper. So I said, okay, I'll tell him in his face. So one time in the locker room, he told him, he said, listen, you know, he, he thinks that he's running, um, I don't know. If, army. It's like uh, a no, no, not the army. I think he said you're running like a bank. He's like, it's too, nobody understands what you're saying and everything's calculated to a science. Right. And he wasn't willing to have a, a B plan where, meaning if you didn't have the players to do this or this was your only strategy and there's no, okay, we're going to react to how this was. And, you know, I think Chelsea, they did start growing and they got better. And I think Saudi's team will get better as time goes. But I do think it's concerning where when I see, you know, Ronaldo on the left wing, right. you know, picking the ball in the midfield where, to me, he's got to play in the striker force. But you can change the game with one touch. But Ronaldo. like he, like he said, I think that Saudi killer. is like, this is what I want to do. This is how it's going to be. And we're going to, you know, go I'm, down trying. I'm in charge work. and I, I'm going to be taking you. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to make sure that Juventus gets off the Champions League as well. That's what is going to happen. Believe me. If Juventus, for some reasons, gets eliminated on the next round, they're not going to get it's eliminated. Not the next it's, round. It's, it's a disappointment. Right? It's 100% a disappointment. Yeah, they're not Leon. Yeah, they're, they'll not be all right. The one after. Maybe. The depends. ball is round. Depends what they get. Then. Okay. So, Leon, they're not going to just go and uh, lay down like a, like a rug and then let them be uh, walked oh, yeah, over. Yeah, I know. But still, so, Juve should technically uh, win that even, game. Even if you have Sadi as your coach, you have to beat You have yeah, to. Yeah, Over yeah. two legs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You have to be able to beat them. No high. excuse for that. The not, amount of no bad PR no. that would get, I, I can't even imagine there would be chaos. To me, Sarri got, it's not a, a Juventus caliber coach. I think it's been a bad sign, and nobody wants to officially say that because, you know, it's very it's publicly embarrassing. Maybe it reflects very badly on, uh, what's his name, Agnelli and uh, and his uh, lapdog over there, uh, Nedved. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is what it is. Click and crock. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. From right I now, I you're going to have to just take it like a man and just, uh, you know, play. I think Juve is uh, missing Kellini a lot, too. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yes, he's so hard that defense. You know, the thing is that Bonucci's been disappointing. Yeah, yeah. that's what and, I'm saying. Uh, and Delete, Delete too. Delete has got is it's tricky guys. I mean, sometimes we will we'll play a spectacular game for you, and some other time we'll be just a little I bit mean, off yeah, his game. Delete yeah, is Kalini, my, the least of my worries. I mean, Kalini's he's 19 years Kalini old was and the best was the most in the world. Huh? He's, if and we're and talking about coming from a different league, like if Lukaku's, he's coming from the Premier League. Exactly. Lukaku. Exactly. Delete same, is coming from. You right. know, the Dutch league. It's very different. And the system that they played over there, it's completely, completely different. But Rock, who's telling He's you that Kellini's coming back is going to come back on the top of his shape? He's, gonna, he's still right. going to He's going to be wobbling yeah, in the beginning, at least. Yeah. Yeah. What is he, 34? 33? It's going to take yeah. him more. I mean, he's, he's, he's not old, young. He's not young. How old is Kellini? I think he's 34, yeah. 35. He's 35. Uh, yeah, so that's it's towards the end of his career. But still, he has that drive, you know? Mm. Even if yeah, he's on the bench, leaders. leader, he's a leader, important. and he brings he brings that hunger. Like to me, the the scariest thing was when Sadi said that there's a lack of mental approach. Like we didn't have the mentality because a team like Juventus can never say that they didn't have the mentality or the hunger to be able to win. Um, anyway, what else we got to talk about? The decade is coming to an end, mm. and I have a question. And I don't want this. I don't want uh, Antonio you to get too mad at me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost 2020. Mm -hmm. and there's just Christmas yesterday. Remember that. Mm -hmm. But if we talk about who was the worst team of the decade in all of football, so from 2010 to 2020. Who was the worst of the great teams? Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that's the answer. That's AMB? worse of the great teams. Okay, fair enough. Okay, all right. Who, yeah, that's fine. So, like, any team that's won a Champions League. Okay. Like, the most right. underperforming? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the past decade. I think that that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, you could say people would say could say Manchester United. I mean, yeah, Man U's Man U has been pretty bad. Uh, AC Milan, I would put it on the top of... Uh, Three. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, is Ace Milan sure. the worst of the Top decade? Three. So does Inter. I mean, Definitely Inter didn't do of, much. But yeah. besides Inter, the treble, we just had a good year. Like, this year is the only year we've been You won the treble, though, in tech, technically in the decade. Yeah. Which one? Well, well, which year was, was that? Uh, yeah, you did. 2009, 2010. Yeah, well... Yeah, 2019, 2020. Yeah, 2009, 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just made it. They just yeah, made it. Yeah. They, yeah. But Man U, they won it like a couple probably Premier Leagues, but I mean, considering how much money they spent. Probably between Milan and Man U, maybe. Right? right? PSG, I'm, too. No, nah, no, no. but PSG never PSG, did anything. They were never. Yeah, yeah, they never they're never. Anything. They're not like an uh, iconic team. I'm trying to think. Arsenal probably. Maybe up there was one of the worst teams of ever. What about Chelsea? Chelsea is the last game. Nah. Maybe they got. No, last when, year. Didn't Chelsea win the 2012? Didn't they win the Champions League? And they won a couple. They won a couple. I think they did. Leagues. They did with the, yeah. Di Matteo. Yeah, Di Matteo. Di Matteo. Yeah, yeah, Di Matteo 2012. Was now Chelsea. Chelsea hasn't. They've been up and down. I think. Mm. But I, I would probably well, we say Milan. Plenty. We have probably Milan. Milan. Because Milan, all, Milan Milan all they did was they won a Scudetto. You won uh -huh. 2010 Scudetto, right? Mm -hmm. No, 2010, 2011 Scudetto. Yeah. You won. 
But when was the last then, Champions League you guys won? 2007. Yeah, right? 2007. Yeah. Oh, eight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's not the decade. Yeah, but let me, right. since you since you ask, I says, you know how many Champions League we have? Seven, right? Between you. You. <laughs> and you, I don't think oh. you're going to have and, his, and what about his 18 oh, games? Okay, he does all. Oh, he's got, he's <laughs> got all of them. He's got all of them. He's got Mike. I got all them combined. He likes Liverpool too now. Yeah, Liverpool. <laughs> this is Liverpool, up. Real Madrid, every, even if AC Milan wins this year or next year, he's going to be an AC Milan fan, I guarantee you. <laughs> he used to be a Milan fan. When oh, they this were, guy? Yeah, yeah. When, they were, oh. when they were starting to buy a lot of players. After when, Roma. After Roma. Yeah. He, went, he went to Roma, Milan. Roma was first. It was a big thing, Mike the Milan fan. Everybody used to go <laughs> crazy. M&M, they were happy. Right? M&M. And then, Mike the Milan fan. Yeah, perfect. Then, and then Napoli, and then you went was to Napoli, Napoli yeah, and then Inter, and sure? then Roma, Roma because my Roma, Roma first. before was Roma, Roma was his was first, first team. First. Yeah, yeah okay. Roma was his first yeah. team. So now uh, you know what we're dealing with over here. Okay? <laughs> Let me squeeze a question in here. Actually, yeah. uh, it's a pretty good one. This one's for Antonio. Mm. It's coming for Max. He mm. said, "Who are your Max top?" Over here on the, on the <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he said, "Who are your top three Italian coaches ever?" Oh shit. Well, that's, Ooh, a that's a good one, that's right? A great, that's a great Max one. with a banger of a I, I question. I can guess at least two out of the three. Right. No, let, let him say it first. I know, I know, I know. I, what he's going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saki. Okay, okay, yeah. You look like I Saki. I pretty much had it. <laughs> with the, <laughs> the jumpsuit today, too. Gasperini. Wow. Whoa. Come on. Two out. You got to say this next one. I would say Ancelotti. Yeah, I knew you were yeah. gonna. I was gonna say Sadi and Ancelotti. I, say, I knew you were gonna I say. I was say Lippi. No Lippi for the yeah, world. Lippi nah, nah. doesn't really? get no love. Oh, oh, oh. I'm surprised. He gets no, no love. Even like close. Listen to me, guys. But it's a, Italy though. <laughs> yeah, but look at this guy. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Give it. He got us a cup. Uh, yeah, Gasperini is being coached. He's been watched and he's been followed by the best ever in the world. What does that even mean? Anto, he has what his Guardiola mean? looks up to him all no, the time. Doesn't. Not because he just I say a compliment. Guardiola looks up to him. So what is Guardiola? Conte, that stupid loser of Conte. You think he invented the 3 5 2? Because of Gasperini. He learned how to play the 3 5 2 because of Gasperini. It's a lot of, and now this guy here that we have an AC Milan Pioli, I think he's looking at the same solution. The guy's been playing the 3 5 2. Okay? Now we, we're going to see what he's going to do 4 4 3 with Ibrahimovic. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I think AC Milan should be going into should be going into that kind of a formation, the three five two. You need okay? players for that. It's a very difficult formation to pull off. What do you mean? The three five. You need two. the players. Of course, you need yeah. the players. You need okay. the player for any formation. So you're saying for Milan to pull that off? I will do you that. Don't, you don't even like one center back. You're gonna, you need three. I wish I can take Gasperini, <laughs> you know, as, a, as an AC Milan coach. Yeah. But definitely suck it. He's probably no been like the best coach in Serie A the last two years, though. I think. Who's mm. been the best coach of 2019? Serie A coach. Gasperini. Gasperini. Yeah. yeah. Or Inzaghi. Inzaghi. No, oh. Inzaghi. Yeah, what about Inzaghi? He's Gasperini. been doing a lot. I don't know about It's that. incredible I that... Would say I would put Inzaghi number three. Yeah. Who's what? two? Gattuso, right? <laughs> Wait, this season you're saying? You're saying this season? <laughs> yes, I said 2019. Since the year is coming to that. What? But no, Quanta's been half no. a year. You're saying this season. Though. Actually, you no, know, you're right. 2019. Oh, it's okay. Gasperini then, for sure. Gasperini. I say Gasperini, too. Because their payroll, Gasperini. what's their I mean, payroll yeah, like? They, made cha- million, they, they did make Champions League. It's they made crazy. Next, uh, yeah, no, Gasperini. I mean, like, yeah, for Gasperini. me, it's Gasperini. Like, that's yeah, yeah. two players. You know what I mean? Inzaghi's number two. I would say like what they're making so I much happen. The, the, even the Roma, the Roma's coach is uh, well, very impressing. Yeah, but he's new bit. too, right? Too early. Too early. Last year was a little rough for him, but mm. no, but Fonseca, Fonseca, oh, yeah, Fonseca he, wasn't there. First last year, yeah, first year. Yeah, first 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 year. Year. Six months. Mm. Please, well, Antonio. So why not you though? No, <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's bothering me. That was the greatest year of my life. He's belittling him. Any coach, any coach with superstars will do what Lippi did. Yeah, okay. but you Look, Gasperini it, Italy oh, compared Italy was Italy Italy was our favorites. Gasperini, you none of the Gasperini, people that they play like, for Gasperini. You're making me hate Gasperini star. the amount that you freaking okay, call the about guy, Gasperini. Right? The guy no, makes those star. scrums become a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's a superstar for Gasperini. Ooh, you just hate a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so Ventura's on your list? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what a disgrace. I'm going to read off a couple players that are linked with moves in uh, the January transfer market. And maybe the secret of Gasparini is eating Sabino uh, uh, Panino. <laughs> uh, maybe feeds that to the players. We said Vidal, who's linked with the move uh, mostly to Inter. Um, Todi Bo, we said to Milan. Um, Juve is linked with this the kid Haaland, the 19-year-old the striker. striker from RB Salzburg. Yeah. Uh, he scored, I think, six goals in six Champions League yeah, matches this sick. season. Mm, mm. He's 19. He actually, you know, the, the club screwed up 
So they put a thirty million release clause in his contract that expires in January. Oh, so wow. that's why he's leaving. Freebie? Yeah. Mm, 30 no, no. Thirty million. Yeah, that's, million. That's, yeah. that's, that's they, peanuts. RB Salzburg had wanted eighty, ninety million. Yeah. But listen, they if you guys sign if you guys sign this guy here, we, we, what are you gonna throw away? You got three it, it makes no, to me Iguain. it makes no sense. They're, they're, they're avoid, the you move, avoiding their problems. Iguain Iguain right. they're they're buddy get, buddies. I don't understand. They, they went from Napoli to Chelsea. Rocco, what do you think is gonna get rid of big guy Iguain? What do you think about Hala? What do you think about Okay, I don't do I like the kid? Yes. Do I think it's a movie we should make right now? No. Why not? I need a midfield. Why first? not? Midfield. You, you cannot, you cannot, keeps avoiding. You cannot well, cluster where you're having strength. You have to focus, like Marco saying, you got to lock down the midfield first and yeah. then you work your way in. You cannot keep nine, stop. You can't so. st stop piling these guys. Because at the end of the day, maybe we're, you sell Iguain, you get the, you upgrade yourself to the forward line. You who sell wants to buy Iguain though? No. No. That's the problem. Nobody wants like a loser like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you get a midfielder. No one wants a loser like that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe no. he'll go he to AC Milan. Milan. He no way. <laughs> See, I don't want to be negative I about like Haaland. Right. You know, nineteen. I get it. The deal, thirty million. It's thirty that million be these the days is like nothing. But it's just it's it bothers me because continually they keep lacking the midfield right. and I would rather spend money on a midfielder a real midfielder uh, who, ooh, get Modric. Like, like a Pogba like a Milinkovic Savic get Modric. like like a player like that that you could Milinkovic actually Savic have Milinkovic Savic in January well, any, a lot of people, a lot of people are talking about Pogba going back to Juve though yeah he's not, it's not gonna about. happen it's not gonna happen for Juve um, anyway more players Kulusevski he's linked with the move yep, to Inter, Inter. Parma's winger he's, 19, he's, he's another guy 19 but Swedish. it's going to be hard between Parma and Atalanta. Atalanta own him. Very He's on tough. loan at Parma. None of them want to lose him, you know, right now. Um, but if he does go, that would be big for them. Mertens, you know, he's between a renewal with Napoli, but there's also Roma and uh, Inter that want him. Yeah. Inter, China too. Uh -huh. Um, Torreira is linked with a move to Napoli. Who I spoke to a couple of Arsenal fans. They said he's not doing good in Arsenal. That's been playing. Joe surprise. I've, I've been following Arsenal. Yeah. If he plays, he only comes off the bench. He's a such little a good bit. player. Juve, I, I would love him too. Uh, Florenzi is linked with the move away to Roma, actually. Yeah. Florenzi's wow. big, hope, big disappointment. Be, he's been playing yeah. a little bit more recently, but, but I he's, hope he's, he's only linked, he he's linked with Fiorentina, Cagliari, Atalanta, and Torino. I no. hope he stays. Um, Sabino, this guy here, Florenzi, I don't think he's got it. You know, Fonseca, if it's true that he's hurt. No, no, it's not his hurt. He's I, third choice he, in Fonseca's plans. Oh, yeah? He he's, put Santon in over him. But he had a big injury. But that was a few weeks he ago. Did it. No, no, he has had big, big injuries, but even when he's healthy... He kept putting he he had put oops Santon um in over him. He did start one game yeah, and then he, he got a little bit more time. So maybe he turned over a new he's not a right the coach. back. He's not a right back. He always got screwed with playing as a right back. He's always he like a defend. right mid always. He's and then they converted him back. He was a center mid, he was a right mid. Yeah. He's kind of like one of those guys that Antonio always says, the jack of what's the saying? Jack of all Anto? Jack of all trade. Trade. Jack of all and master of none. It's kind of like Florenzi. And I love Florenzi. The yeah. passion that, that guy fighter. has is unbelievable. But I think it would be better for him if he went to Fiorentina, Atal Atalanta. I mean, for him, you go straight to that's Champions League. Yeah, that's It'll a be big great. One. Giroud is linked with the Inter. What do you think about that? Ah, too I'm much. A, I'm a little. I the mean, hell is Giroud gonna do? Inter's in know. the middle of everything, huh? Yeah. I feel Inter like Inter wants everybody. Yeah, they kind, they kind of need to though. If they're fighting for the Scudetto, we gotta spend, yeah, we gotta spend, we gotta some, spend some, money. some. And you know, it's proven right now. Money. Fonda's doing some damage, so Pe it's not. Petania is linked with a move to Roma, which that was that was I'm very surprised. Roma, yeah, six goals though. Half of Spal's goals, which is twelve. How many kicks? I don't know. A few probably. Oh, still. Listen, Sabino, why? I you swear to God, every time I watch that guy play for on Inter, when you have a, a spectacular team on the paper, you're one of the best team in Europe. Why you keep bringing those people over? I we're, mean, we're you not got the best midfielder. We're, we're, we're about to get healthy now. You got the midfield of the national team, okay? Sensi, but you got two of the best strikers, the way you say it. Between uh, depth, Lutaro, so. Lautaro Martinez. You do and need a bench, Lukaku. though. In, in a today. bench? Yeah, to do what? You are on the way from there. You can't play the same 11 guys. It's the most ridiculous thing. You can't play the same 11 guys. the bench? Oh, no, 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 no. no. If you're going to get a player, you put it on the bench. Not good. They're playing with their Primavera players because they have so many injuries. Yeah. Esposito, I think it's a first We played two months without Sensi, probably our best player, our best midfielder. So why do you need another player? Just what about if he gets hurt again? You need to have oh, back up. Don't, don't you not like, and we're going to be in the Europa League. I guarantee you Inter wins it. Oh, yeah? You think yeah. they're going to try? They're going to have to try to win Someone that. asked that question. They said, how Wait, far Inter could go? Inter's I, I think they have a good chance. If think we, so? Well, I mean, they got it all. They're going to win it, the old thing. Don't worry. I, they have a good chance, but Gwanda's not going to try. I think they're going to get dumped out and so? just focus on the Serie A. Yeah. I don't why he doesn't care about I mean that. I want to focus on Serie A, but yeah, I think Gwanda, so do I think we have a good team. Listen, as much as I hate Juve. But I, I will just push for them to win again this year because uh, I can't stand content. Two of them, I just <laughs> can't stand that. What about Lazio wins? 
Lazio will do it. I will take it. Lazio, Napoli, Roma, any other team, but uh, not Inter. For me, Inter is like, uh, so, forget it. So I'm going to just still, okay. I'm going to make my own question here. How okay. far do we think Lazio is going to go? Lazio is going to go in, far. In terms of the Maybe Scudetto. definitely second. Second. Uh, you, feel, you think they're top three? You think they could jump? You were Inter? Here's the debate. Everybody's been If Lazio buys one or two players, he can win the whole thing. It's a big if for Now, like where that. is Lazio in these rumors? Because I didn't hear you mention Lazio once. No, Lazio is Yo, not the, linked to anybody. So are they content with what they have right now? Because they, honestly, that's not going to work. They need a couple of play, couple, one defender and uh, and uh, the midfield is one of the best midfielders yeah, they is. have. It is. They have, have a good team. Yeah. Yeah. They do have a good first, their first team is amazing. Yeah. Their team that they have is great. But like you said, you, you, need, a, you need depth and you need a bench. Come on. And you also... You know, you look at Juve and you look at Inter and you feel like they're stronger overall than Lazio. And... Like I said, I would love it. if Lazio would win the win the league. It would be yeah, that'd insane. be awesome. Like I'd much rather Lazio win than Inter win the Scudetto. I'd rather Inter, but <laughs> <laughs> <I'm really laughs> like, um, the season's long though. Lazio. I would rather Atalanta team. or anybody so, else. Anybody. Well, Atalanta. He's yeah, he's ABI. Anybody but Inter. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love that. Anybody but Inter. That's funny. <laughs> Shit, he's gonna so, use that. So man. how about Napoli in this mix? They nah. just they just fell off the grid, nah. huh? Napoli be that be they'll, be, to them. they'll be lucky if they make the championship. They'll be very lucky Big if they get a point. They're like seventh place. Seventh or eighth, yeah. right? One of those. With, and it's with crazy. The, with Lazio, with Roma, with Atalanta, with Cagliari looking so good. You think that it's very how hard. Napoli even very get hard. to there? Listen, the second half of the season is gonna be extremely tough. It is. It's gonna be fun. I like it. It's a very bit, competitive. No, it is. Yeah. Very, sure. This year, as stressful as it is sometimes, right. you know, but it is exciting. You know, like, you lot, can't say it's not exciting. A lot of those second class teams that we thought were second class, like Cagliari, like Verona, like all of those. They got stronger than what we thought. Yeah, they are one hundred percent. What is gonna happen? That's why, easy win. That's easy why win. the big fish they just buy. They sharpening their teeth to try to when they buy the small one, they bite them. They're gonna try to kill them because right. uh, it's uh, it's not happening now in the first half. We got um the top Serie A scores of this past decade. Mm. And did you guys see the graphic? Did you no, see no, the, no, no, the graphic? No, no. no. you did, you obviously didn't see it. <laughs> Everybody was asked why you don't have an Instagram, but I try to tell people that you're not about that life. He, he has a it. fan account. Somebody I, made an Instagram for yeah, him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Antonio just, loves Casano. So, sometimes <laughs> I try to FaceTime him. He doesn't even know how to open the FaceTime. So <laughs> is, if he, you... <laughs> <laughs> who, who are the top guys? Okay, yeah. So I was going to say, who do you think the, oh. the top is the, of the past uh, decade? Decade? Yeah. Atalanta. No, no, no. No, no, no. Goal scores. Goal scores. Uh, There's five players I'm trying to think list. who played the most. Are they active now? Um, some of, yeah, some of that them a, That's are, a good question. Right? Four out of the five are active. Four out of the... Uh, Jekyll? Uh, give you. Nope. Oh, Throw some names out. Messi. What are you no, talking about? Serie A. Serie A. Higuain? Higuain is there. Quagliarella. Immobile. Quagliarella, Immobile. Whoa! So you got Higuain, Quagliarella, and Immobile. Di Natale? Di Natale. Di Natale. And there's a fifth one. Come on, boys. Is this active or not active? Well, well, can't say. I can't really say. It's not active. It's not Dybala. Oh, so then next no, one no. I got to their team wins a Scudetto. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 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 come on, Anto. This should be you. Anto, come on, please. I'm begging you. Is any Milan player? No. Oh, that's you wish. Why. You wish. It would be your dream to have this duo at AC Milan. Think about why I said duo. You're killing me here. Who do you? Who would you love at AC Milan that scores goals? Lukaku. No, <laughs> I know. I know. Who would you love I at AC Milan that. that scores goals? Icardi. Oh, wow. The sleeper. The sleeper. Milan's on the Scudetto. The sleeper. It doesn't happen. I was thinking about wait, current. Wait, wait, wait. City out players. Let him say what you did. Guys, it gets even better. Now you, know, you have those five. You guys said Immobile, Icardi, Quairele, Iguain, Di Natale. Now give me them in order. Who do you think's got the most and who's got the least? Anto first. Icardi. You think Icardi number one? Who's number two? Icardi number two or three. Iguain, Di Natale, Quagliarella and Mobile. You didn't get anyone right. Okay. <laughs> first to last? I did Icardi because I want to piss him off. <laughs> I think Quagliarella is probably first, right? No. no? Oh, sorry, just give me your five. Keep going. Five. Sorry. You can't take it back. Yeah, you should have said that. You just hey, show yourself fishing. That's why you tell people don't they fish. I don't know. It's just give me Di Natale. Di Natale. Keep, just give them all five. Just give me all five. And I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Di Natale. Quagliarella. Quagliarella. Immobile. Icardi. Icardi, and the last one was uh, Igu Iguain. Iguain. No, you didn't get any right. <laughs> All right. Well, wait, you did, you, you no, did get one the, right. Well, you got one right. Whatever, All right. Yeah. Mine is Di Natale is number one. Uh, second is Immobile. Third is 
Hold on, hold on. I lost train of thought here. <laughs> Third is Guayarela. Fourth is... There's Wayne and Icardi left. If Icardi will be fourth and then fifth. Nobody Wrong. got it right. Wrong? Oh, so my God. First is Di Natale with 125 goals. I got that and one. Might, might I add that Di Natale finished that decade in 2016. So mm. all these other yes, guys right, have right. right. He he's missed, got four he years missed four left. years. Wow. Four years, and he's still well, number Well, Icardi one. wasn't playing in 2010 either. I'll, I'll, re- I'll read them to you right now. Iguain and Icardi are both tied with second with 121 goals, so only See? four goal difference. Um, Iguain played seven years, and Icardi played six years. Wow. So Icardi played the least amount of uh, see? years, and he had 121 if goals. If you count the Icardi goals of this year, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, he didn't play this uh-huh. year. Um, Immobile, who has eight years, he's got 116 goals, and then Quayadelo, who's got 10 years, he's got 109. So Quayadelo well, was the in least. Fifth. Yeah, he was the least one, least amount over there. Well, but I was, I was struck by Icardi. I, really like, I thought it would be Quayadelo because he God, played the whole ten yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. I knew Dinatella. That's a good. Right. It's, it was a good you guys strategy. Came up on a superstar, man. I mean, you know, you know, Inter fans you guys. and, That's and like all the group chats, <laughs> <and> man. <laughs> Inter fans kill each other over the Icardi oh, Lukaku debate. Still? Oh, always, still? yeah, always. Because always. they know that they, 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 they mess you can say it. He was just, he was bad for the team. He was bad for a locker room. That was the main issue with Icardi. Yeah, exactly. It's his wife. It's not about his room. Baggage he carries. Give me twenty. I think there was a problem. I think there was a problem. Give me twenty Vandanara and uh, five Icardi. That will take them all. I think there was a problem with Brozovic and Icardi. To be honest with you, Brozovic is going to disappear. Listen. Brozovic, nobody's going to know who he is in the next couple oh, of years. come on. It's like a nobody. I agree no. with that. You want to put with 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 Icardi oh, with man. Brozovic? He does a lot you of picked the, up a loser. Work, you yeah, picked up a loser. Sabino. A loser to Icardi. You know, you guys are great of giving up on the champion. You gave up on Zaniolo. You gave up on Pirlo. You gave up on Cassano. You gave up on... Uh, on didn't uh, give up on Cassano. They did. Yeah, we got the youth. They did. The youth system. They Balotelli up, too. Balotelli. They gave up. <laughs> they gave up on the. He went to, uh, to 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 play with England over there. The Brazilian player. What, what's his name? And then he went to Barcelona, Real Madrid. Coutinho. Coutinho. Come on, man. The list yeah, is Coutinho. big. Zaniolo. Oh my God. Zaniolo. Yeah. Yeah. I said Zaniolo. We sell quick. Come on. Um, but I don't regret the Cardi move at all. I, I'm a big Cardi will. fan. You will regret it. Well, uh, you still got we'll him see. technically. So yeah, but yeah. never know. Yeah. 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 No. But they're gonna they still own it. Yeah, they do own it. They own it. Yeah, own it. yeah she's probably gonna buy they, they have Somebody's cut. gonna pay sixty-five million. Yeah, for the, the, yeah. I think he's gonna stay there. He's he's gonna sixty-five is not a lot of money it's for nothing. somebody like that. It's nothing. Yeah. Not a, it's nothing. I would love him. I would love Icardi. PSG is so much superior to anybody in that French team. His service is crazy. Like yeah. Look at the team at PSG versus yeah, but look everybody at every, else in the league. Every big team, though. Is, I mean, but he's not in Champions League. I know, but I'm Champions saying League. the French League. I know, in Champions League, League, like, the guy, I don't know. Is it six goals or five goals that he has? It's crazy. What are you talking about? Icardi. Uh, uh, um, okay, two more things that I got on top of my head. Favorite of the last decade, I'm going to ask you three to name your three. Number one, your favorite Serie A moment from the decade, your favorite Champions League moment, and your favorite Azzurri moment. So, Mike, Jesus, Mike you know, right, we'll start okay. with Rocco, actually. Uh, all right. Give Mike a second. One more time. Favorite, Set, favorite Serie A moment of the past decade. So from 2010 uh, to to now. Very Serie A moment. The, yeah. Honestly, what when I think of Serie A growing up, watching Del Piero, that, all those moments. No particular moment with Del Piero, but all those moments growing up. Those are the ones I cherish the most, and that's why I love Juventus so much because Del Piero was literally my childhood. But so the that, past decade, you only got what is it? Two years when Del Piero retired? 2011. Yeah, 2011. Oh, I'm going way back second? then. Okay, no. So I was going to shout out to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, past decade, so just 2010 to 2020. Mm. 2010 to 2020. I mean, there's you so many. It's a whole decade of Juve, though. though. So I don't want to be. Eight, eight, I don't want to. I don't want to be so biased you. Yeah. with it. But no, but it's I, your I, moment. The seventh place finishes or not? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be up there. No, I think it was the, the that wasn't in uh, the the Kelini header. I think in in 2015, I want to say. And Serie who which made us clinch the. The Scudetto. I'm not really sure the date there, but... No, that's fine. Pardon, forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I just... I'm not. That's the one that I remember the most. Champions, Champions League, League moment is um, when we beat... After the, the long comeback, you remember this Which one? Which one? Back in uh, 2016, was it? Real Madrid. The, right before the se- before the semifinals. The that that yeah. was my most memorable moment. Which one? Uh, when we clinched the, the berth. We were down like 3-0. Yeah, but then we got the, the then one got, against Real Madrid where yeah. they freaking the red card. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my most memorable Azzurri? for chance, Champions League. Azzurri. It's been a rough decade for us. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I got I to go on the... Uh, 
Azuri, probably the Bellotelli goal. Yeah. The shirtless. That's what I was going to say. That's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. <laughs> that was probably most memorable for me. Serie A moment. Well, Serie A, it's been a little tough for me as an Inter fan. Your still decade. counts, though. Your, the, yeah, the, the, that would be in the beginning of the decade that when Inter won every day. 2009, 2010. So, it's Champions going to be moment. the last one that you ever get. <laughs> <laughs> Champions, Champions League, League the we Roma comeback then. against Barcelona was wow, crazy. Respect. Yeah. That you was crazy. Trouble. That, respect. I think everybody that's an Italian soccer fan, like, that was amazing. They yeah. really yeah. love that moment. And mm. the Azzurri moment? The uh, oh, Conte's team. The Giacchini team, you know? That was a nice run. Anto, your favorite Serie A moment of the past decade? I would say uh, AC Milan. Uh, Milan won a Scudetto in this Winning with a stupid loser of Allegri. <laughs> the, the only time that he did play, actually, the first Zlatan. year that he played with Zlatan, Cassano, and, uh, and the company over there. Yeah. And then... Uh, they say the Europe, uh, the champions, right? Um, the champions kind of rough, but uh, I will say uh, I has to be a Serie A. Italian related. Well, oh, Italian related? Yeah. All Italian right, you can related. say Champions League. Yeah. Yeah. No, it can be I'm Italian sure. related because uh, this guy here was coaching. It probably was uh, Capello or was, uh, or was uh, Ancelotti, uh, Ancelotti coaching, when uh, Real coaching Real Madrid when uh, Sergio Ramos tied, uh, oh tied uh, oh, the last, oh, uh, last on the overtime yeah, with the big, big header over there against that. Atletico. That was unbelievable. Oh, oh my right? God, what no, a goal. We're, we're I thought that mass. the game the game, game was over. I thought it was over. The game was over. Sergio Ramos, boom, he buried that goal over there. He's like the most goals for a defender of all time. You and your Gasparini and you don't say that? Wow. Him getting Champions League? Listen, listen. That's what I... I was... Okay, whatever. It, it was Everybody. Ancelotti, right? I'm Ancelotti. Yeah, it was Ancelotti. Oh, yeah. They won the, the Decima. And Azzurri moment? Favorite Azzurri moment? I would say it's, it's this year because uh, it's I see Mancini, Mancini really getting the team together and... Uh, and just putting everybody, even a known player. Now nice that, young team, right? Now, now we know Barella is a great superstar. We know Sense is a superstar. We know a lot of good good young kids that they can uh, take us to the next he, level. He likes the Inter. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, 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 I don't say that. I don't say that. Antonio I, I Interista. Um, Serie A moment? Serie A, I think it's going to have to be when Gasperi didn't clinch the Champions League. Oh, I thought that was amazing. That's, that's not Serie A moment. Well, yeah, when they clinched it. Well, oh, the last they match, the, yeah. okay, they yeah. the there was four teams okay, that yeah, could have made enough, the fucking... Enough. Remember all over here? No, so what's crazy? your Champions League moment then? Champions League has to be the Manolas uh, header. Yeah, that's that was, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah, yeah, you don't only, have to be a culture fan. That's the only moment of the decade for the only Greek moment. Well, Roma in general, not just that one. But that was a nice touch on Manolas. That Zuri probably, even though... Uh, they lost in penalty shootouts with Germany. It showed what Conte squad was, and they went up to toe to toe with Germany's superstar, even though they lost to a penalty shootout. Just showed how much, even though they lacked so much quality, they went head to head with passion, Grinta, and never stop in hard work, and just proves not just crumbs. in not just in sports, but if you know, you put your head down, work, and never give up. You know, some things can, even though it didn't go their way, it was very close to happening. So mine was Serie A, definitely Juventus's first Scudetto. That was unbelievable. The, the emotions of that one, the intensity and the hunger. That team looked like they were a rabid animal every game. Now, now the team doesn't look like they, they give from a the shit. the mouth, right? So that, the emotions in that one, you can remember every single... I remember every single goal that was scored that year. Uh, Champions League, the Roma comeback against Barca. Even as a UF, like you said, as an Italian, my heart was beating out of my chest when they came yeah. back. Just because, especially growing up in New York, being around here, all these stupid ass Barcelona bandwagon fans that are around here yeah. that gave no chance. And I didn't give Roma. But you a chance. never think it would be possible. But exactly. But so. even I didn't think it was possible. 3 0 down. It. Like, that was absolutely unbelievable. We had that Francesco. With we Francesco. Did Francesco. No, nobody knows that oh. this Francesco exists. Yeah. By the way, we. Who's the coach that jumped in the fountain that Fiorentina, Fiorentina gets? Their owner. I just hope that Fiorentina gets. By the way, people told us why Di Francesco can't be. Remember, we said last podcast yeah. why Di Francesco. Why was it? There's a new rule in Serie A that if you're sacked by a, a Serie A team, same thing with Ancelotti, you can't take over another Serie A team. Oh, you have to in go the same either. year. Oh, you can only go back to that team. So Ancelotti couldn't take over Napoli. Uh, couldn't take over Milan. Oh. Di Francesco, since he was sacked by Sampdoria, he can't go to Fiorentina. What kind of rule is that? That's a new rule. It wow. just takes a year, one year? Yeah, yeah you have but to wait a year. But it's been for a while. It's been a no, while it's now. a new year. Well, at, least, at least year, to the end year. of the championship. At, the, at least to the end yes. of the championship. The Did you mention your Azzurri moment? My Azzurri moment, without a doubt, Conte's 2006, uh, 2016 Squad. Uh, team. Uh, that was the Conte? Emotion. 2016. Contest, 2016. Yeah. Why do I keep emotional, saying man. the Euro? That was unbelievable. The World Even Belgium, everybody was talking about this. That was Belgium. 12, I think. No, 2000. No, 12 was Prandelli's team. 16. 16 was the Euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. the Euros. That the Belgium, and then we beat Spain. Spain. We beat. We we played so well against Spain with Giacchini, with like. 
He's a hustler, man. Whatever Mike said for Everywhere. that, I completely agree with. What were we yeah. just about to talk about? We just said something. That's that was it. interesting. Just finish That's your, 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 your Serie A stuff. No, next question, and then we're going to close. Yeah. What else? You were we're going to go back to Panini, Panini shop. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, boys? Anything oh, else? so what do we have looking forward to this next decade? Jesus you know? this is crazy. This, this one's over. This is the 100th episode. I don't know if we mentioned oh, it. I know. We probably I know what are you looking forward to? What are you looking forward to? See Elliot selling AC Milan ASAP. Louis Vuitton, baby. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. We'll take Louis Vuitton. Okay. They're saying Louis Vuitton is going to buy me. Then uh, Juventus getting dethroned. A brand. AC Milan again winning number eight Champions League. Because, mm, uh, yeah. In the next decade. In the next decade. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, no yeah. yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll win two. We're gonna, actually, three. We're going to make oh. it to ten. <laughs> you win every year. You win the next ten. No, we're going to make three. Three Champions League in a row. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm looking forward to getting Berlusconi. Do you think Jesus Milan. Christ is coming back or something? Yeah. Like, it's always here. <laughs> <laughs> it's always here. It's is Jesus God. coming to play uh, Jesus. number ten for Jesus you Jesus was a Milanista, 100%. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> right, Anto, he's a Jesus Milanista. He's a Milan fan, I'm sure. <laughs> So anyway, I love the confidence. Anyway. Ya Yakini is what we didn't say. He took over Fiorentina, and Fiorentina yeah. sacked Montella. That was the yeah, thing I was going to say. Okay. What do we think about this? Not a good idea. I would have kept Montella, man. Definitely. I Me hope too. they prove of strong, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I think the one thing I've seen is a lot of criticism for us that saying that we hyped Fiorentina I know, up. I, know. I, saw, I saw that. I'm like, that's yeah, such man. bullshit. Like, but they said, we got friends. Uh, exactly. Got friends, so, yeah, but uh, we never but, said but, it. I but think it's not even that. Yo, they it, signed Ribery. They got Boateng. They were building. They got American older that want to build. How yeah, could you not? Like, it has absolutely nothing to do with that because if you check back at what we said, what we said was all Fiorentina had to do to make a success was Say was, top half of the was table. finishing the top half of the table, but I'm which, saying we talked which about they're going to do. They're still going to do. do. There's, 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 there's some people that said we, you know, we said Scudetto. Any team that gets a new ownership, I don't think you could look at any results until uh, three you gotta, years you gotta in. Balance right. it. There's it's projects, and I know a lot of people. You know, they don't. They're not really yeah. familiar with football, and they think, oh, everything, you get a new owner, boom, everything's going to everything work. Everything that went going to be grown. Could have went wrong for Fiorentina, did though. Chiesa is not performing. Listen, Sabino, you know why we're pushing for Fiorentina because we have friends number one. No, we know. I know. I know. Rocco Jobaron. But still, then, we never uh, said that they were going to win a Scudetto or the Champions League. Then, Rocco Comiso is a real fan. He's a soccer fan. He's not one of those guys, you know, that has got money, you know, he wants to show off just buying a team. The guy's got a passion for the game. And I think it's going to bring Fiorentina in the top, uh, on the top of the, the, the score. Top but not yet. That's yeah. those those plans are five, ten years down the line. Yeah, right, you know, yeah. there's there's a lot of things that they're doing behind the scenes. They're trying to build a stadium. They're building facilities. Training camps. There's a lot of yeah. different things. Yakini, I don't like Yakini. I think Montello would have been the mm. option. You know, if you got to go. But listen, I think he's gonna get you to June. You know, um, he'll bring some stability, and then you'll be able to get a, a real coach, a coach that's gonna that you have a project. And you go by maybe Di Francesco, but I think somebody like that with a mentality like that. Okay, good. Yeah. So uh, are we all done with this thing here yeah, right now? Done. Let's go, guys, one more time. If you want to get the best panini on the best lunch and you want to really enjoy your life, <laughs> yeah, this is the go best to Panini Shop. How much you paid? Panini <laughs> Shop, Sabino and Rocco over here, okay? And again, the address is 433 Graham <laughs> Avenue. Graham. Okay? So this is the best panino I've ever okay, given away. Okay, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's so this good. It's great. Though. Oh, yeah. thanks for having us, guys. Rate us with five stars. Uh huh. Keep reviewing your homework. Start to get ready for to go to school. Go on the ski slope. Or uh, if you get ski depressed slope. again, <laughs> if you get depressed, watch the video of my friend over there. Uh, Manolas. Costa. 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 Oh, you want to show us? What does it look like? Oh, what it's crazy. Like? Oh, this guy's oh, crazy. Oh, if I'm oh, depressed oh. in the morning, I've really, I really, I got to look forward to go to work. I just press the video of Costa. Forget it. <laughs> what is the guys, to, to end the year, <laughs> you guys should all share this episode with one friend. Uh -huh. Get the oh, word out on oh, IFTV. Yeah, nice. yeah. Like send this video to one of your friends in your group chats, and then you know? post that you get a, you get the, the, the see. You actually, you get to miss uh, you you get to meet Rocco and Sabino over here uh, <laughs> at the Panini shop. If you rate five stars, Antonio's flying <laughs> them out on his house. budget. Again, growing up Italian, uh, follow them on Instagram, on YouTube. They got a really good podcast. You got oh, one coming out Sunday. What's the name of the podcast? Growing up Italian. Growing up Italian. Oh, nice. Good. You understand? Good. Yeah. Growing up Italian. Growing up Italian. Guys, congrats on 100 too, man. You guys came oh, a long I, way. By the way, 100, this is 100 yeah. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, I would say, right? To yourself. <laughs> yeah. to yourself. You be, no, I mean, this is the core us. right here. To all of us. You know what's so funny? You you broke out now all of a sudden with, with this podcast. No, no, you broke out. You you broke out like people found out about who you were from this podcast. Oh, okay. And people. Do you get recognized in the street a lot when you. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah? Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. You know what's so funny? When I've known Antonio for a long time, since mm -hmm. I was a kid, I've known Antonio. 
And I always, every fan, every friend that I've introduced him to automatically just instantly dies laughing. Like when I showed him to Michael, yeah. I used to bring it to play Better soccer. laughing than crying. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Very it's true. a fact. And, and I remember one day we were here, we were at dinner and we're all talking, we're bullshitting with him, my dad, Mike. And I was like, guys, we have to record this because it's so funny. And, and your re first reaction was, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. My dad was like, who the hell's ever going to listen to a podcast? He's like, nobody's going to listen yeah, to us talk. Here you are a hundred episodes later. Was he on the first episode? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah, been from the beginning. He's only missed a couple episodes and that's only because yeah. we like forced him to miss them. Yeah. yeah we, lo we, me out. We, we locked him out. I was like, you're not coming. <laughs> Cause he was away or something. And he had a banging tell, on the door. <laughs> anytime we tell him we're recording without him, he's like, you're not allowed to record a podcast without me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad. No like, Antonio, no party. Right? You're right, it's you're true. right. Some people get mad when they click on the video and you're not there. They're like, all right, we're not going to watch it. They're right to be mad. They're right to be mad. <laughs> they don't want to listen to a bunch of Manolas. And, uh... Oh, by the way, somebody made a comment with your hair style and said, you need, to, you need an hair <laughs> It's the wife. It, yeah, it's the wife of one Did of my best. she get the same haircut as us? Yeah, no, no. I see. She's the wife of one of my best friends. I'm not going to say it because the, then it's a hotel friend. Um, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's anyway, he's she, so said, oh, she said, "She said Marcus a good-looking kid, but she has to he has to trim a little bit the, the the hair because the hair is getting on his on his way. You Nobody can actually see him. You know anymore. what? You know what I'll do? Okay. When once uh, Juventus get Guardiola, mm -hmm. uh, like I said in the summer, this was my bet. I, Mohawk. I'll, I'll do. Uh, I'll do oh, a Sabino. Gonna do I'll my, do a Sabino and Antonio. I'm gonna start to grow my hair. What is called Antonio? What do you give this hairstyle name? Uh, it's called the how you doing right there. It's how you doing. Yeah. How you doing? The gabagool. The gabagool. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. As always, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, guys. Ciao, guys. Ciao.